Hey guys, this is Echo Soundworks and you're checking out a massive quick tip tutorial video on ADSR. So I've gotten a bunch of questions coming through via email on how to do this or how to address this topic. This is a more of a beginner to a slight intermediate video. If you're an, a true intermediate or advanced user of Massive, I don't think this will help you out, but just wanted to preface that for you guys who are out there. So if you feel like you know a whole lot about Massive, maybe you don't check this one out. Don't waste your time. Anyway. I've gotten a couple questions for people who are trying to do like future bass type stuff where they want to change the rhythm of the kind of the LFO or the side chain, side chain type effect that they're creating in Massive using an LFO or performer. performer. So I'm going to show you how you can do that because I know that uh, one way that some people do that and I've gotten some presets like this where they create this sputter or stutter effect by unsyncing the rate of an LFO that's usually tied to the filter. And what they're doing is they're using an envelope with a shape similar to this. And it kind of creates a sputter or stutter effect depending on which way you modulate with that envelope. But let's listen to this. Do you hear how it kind of it, it plays it, the, the LFO is a lot quicker and then it kind of slows out or slows down? Now there it's kind of speeding up. Well, the only problem with this is it's not sync. So if I play this with a beat. Let me turn all this down because it's going to be super loud. Right, that's just not synced at all. So what do you do in Massive when you want to do that same type of effect? Well, you can't, unfortunately with Massive, you can't modulate and you can't assign the LFO rate to your MIDI controller, which is really stupid. Uh, you can in Serum, and I do want to point that out real quick because I know a lot of the guys out there who... Uh, use Serum or use Massive, their Serum users. So this right here, and maybe you're on the fence about buying Serum because you're like, well, I have Massive. With Serum, what you can do is you can actually create a macro. So I'm just going to do this on a really basic sound real quick because this is a Massive tutorial and we are getting really off topic. But so let's turn this one up. Okay, so let's say we, let's apply a filter. Let's get an LFO shape on that filter. Okay, do trigger, and we're gonna be we're make sure we're syncing this. Now I'm gonna use a uh, macro control here. I'm gonna macro out. I'm gonna hit Alt and Shift and click here, and we're gonna drag that down a little bit. And now when I move this macro, right, we now can control this this LFO, which is modulating our filter. Right? Unfortunately, you can't do that in Massive, but if you are a, are a Serum user, maybe you didn't know that, that's a really cool tip and trick right there. Well, with Massive, you can't do that and because uh, it's old, and they, they didn't think to do that, but you can do it via modulation. You can hear it right there. So if we play it with the track... You can hear that it's slowing down. Well, it's really simple to do. In Ableton, you guys have a much easier way of doing that where you can open your automation lane and just click on the control that you want and it will pop there. For all the other DAWs, you have to go through this really long pain in the ass list. So I'll save the trouble. You're gonna go to the modulator. This is the LFO, you have four of these. Perform, uh, you have the, potentially the LFOs are performers. You have five, six, seven, and eight. And what you're going to do is you're going to go to your automation lane and your DAW or however your DAW handles automation, the drop down menu, and you need to locate where it's going to say modulation. And what you're going to do is find the modulation number that we have associated with the parameter you want to control via automation. So in this case, I want to control the LFO that is on my filter one cutoff. And that happens to be right here. It's modulator eight and it's called DEN. And what you can do is you can keep it on synced and you can use automation to mess around with the rates. Now, it doesn't say, unfortunately, what rate you're going to. You kind of have to use your ears for that because you can turn it into triplets. You can turn it into a lot. So especially if you modulate the ratio as well as the actual division. 
So yeah, that, that's how you can do that in Massive the easy way. You just have to modulate into it. Now with other synths like Serum, you can actually modulate via a macro control. And you can even use the LFO tool, which is a whole nother tutorial, but you can use the LFO tool to do similar type things. All right, guys, there you go. If you have any questions or comments, let me know below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Like I said at the beginning of the video, I am Echo Soundworks. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time.